Jason, uh, good morning. How are good you? Good morning. I'm good. I'm good. How are you doing? Good. Did you guys go into yesterday's game? It, it looked like you were determined not to let anything behind you and you're going to have everything in front of you. Was that kind of one of the game plans? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's, that's each week. I uh, just want to go out. Uh, with the preparation that we have for the week and try and win the game. That's the ultimate goal each week, you know, especially with it being a divisional one. Okay, and the other question I have is, how much grief did you get for dropping the interception? For, uh, not as much from uh, the world than my dad and my daddy, so I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Jones. Hey, Jason, how are you? I'm good. How are you? What'd your dad say? <laughs> he just said, hey, look, it's it, it's like you only like the hard ones, you know? <laughs> but, you know, he, he going to get on me all the time. That's him. But uh, he was just like, hey, you got to move on. Glad you ain't let it pile into other negative plays. That's the biggest thing. Um, but got to catch the ones that come to you. Those are the free ones. I'm guessing he's also your absolute biggest fan. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it's like all in one. So it's so funny. It's like he'll kill me for the first two parts of the conversation. And it's like, you know, I'm his son again. So how soon after that play did you think I'm going to hear from dad? Oh, as I'm on the ground with my head in the turf. Oh, I already knew because usually how I grew up for my first 11 years of putting a helmet on. I got it as soon as I got off the sideline. So, you know, it was yep. it's, it was just man, that's that's my pop. Yeah, because he was coaching you, yeah, right? Yeah. I kind of went on a little bit of a tangent. If I may just ask one team-related question. Mm -hmm. um, what does yesterday do for you guys um, emotionally, spiritually, mm -hmm. as a team? You know, it had to feel good, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and our, our special teams coach, T-Mac, he always say some vitamin W. <laughs> some vitamin W will get, get you back. So, uh, obviously, with the, the struggling season we've been having, um, those are good. It's a good kind of mo momentum booster for us and get it flowing into the room and get guys, uh, younger guys, especially to remember who we are, you know, remember who we are. And sometimes things pile up in the game, whether it's early, uh, offensively, defensively, special teams, whatever the case may be. And, you know, it just don't go your way. And, you know, these type of games get you that momentum to keep rolling through the rest of the season. You know, I appreciate you. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> you too. Have a good one. Paul Schwartz. Hey, Jason. How you doing? Good. How you doing, man? Good, good, good. Um, um, in, in a game that is very emotional, right, from week to week, you know, you lose, it's devastating. You win, it's great. You know, how does your head coach prevent, you know, as he said, riding the roller coaster? How does he prevent that? Because it's so easy to get on that roller coaster. Uh, the the and the roller coaster is the outside, honestly. So it's uh, he keeps us all, everybody within the room, from upstairs to downstairs to uh chefs to everybody in the building you know just keep us all right here you know just keep it going uh never get too high never get too low you know just stay within the building really is how you avoid being on that roller coaster so much um do, do players look at that because it's easy you know to look at your head coach right and when mm -hmm. you win a few games he's patting you on the back and you're great keep it up and when you lose you know, maybe he turns on you a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, coaches can do that. So the players kind of cue in to see what is the man in charge? How is he going to react when we're no good? How does he react when we are good? You know, that kind of thing. Take a look and see that. Yeah, exactly. And uh, the biggest thing for me uh, from a coach is and, and where you gain that respect from your players, your leaders, your captains is composure, you know, and that's something he has. Um, which which is an interesting word choice of words considering on the sideline he is not you know some coaches are all right I mean he doesn't look composed yeah. does he there, there's a difference for me of composure and emotional you know we put a lot into this game so things are going to come out as men thank you Jason appreciate no it no problem yep Tom Rock Jason uh, I'm just kind of wondering what your take is on um uh, Tommy DeVito, you know, you, you went up against him in practices a, a lot. What, what what have you seen from him before the last three weeks? And what have mm -hmm. you seen from him in the last three weeks? Uh, I seen from him, and this is through camp, uh, early in the season, um, confident. He's a confident guy, and it, it all comes from his preparation. 
Um, he soaks the game up, whether he's in or out. <laughs> um, so it's just a lot of confidence in that young guy because of how he handles himself as a professional. So nothing he's doing right now is like surprising to a lot of us, truthfully. We just blessed that the world get to see it. How, how, how much goes into a professional athlete, particularly a quarterback, how much of how much of the recipe is confidence and just oh, man. believing in yourself? A, a lot, a lot, man, because th this game is so mental too. Um, it's, it, it's as much as it is physical, uh, it's very mental. So if you're not confident in which comes from your preparation, it's you, you'll have a hard time out there. You'd be second guessing yourself. You'd probably be a step behind. And initially, the the margin of error is way too small to be a step behind.